Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Hello, teacher. Hello, Fine. it's good to have you here. Uh, Carlos, Julio Cesar, Iris. I think that people is going to join us uh, little by little because there's, um, it is raining, at least here where I live, it's raining. So sometimes this causes some difficulties with the internet, but I hope that everyone can join us little by little. Welcome, uh, Angel and Iris, as I said before. Okay, my dears, uh, for today, we are going to continue with our platform. So uh, let's see what do we have here. And I would like to share with you uh, my screen. So can you watch it? Can you watch the platform screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla de la... Yes. Okay, perfecto, de la plataforma. Okay, yes, for today, we are going to advance... Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for confirming. For today, we are going to yes. advance with the 4.7 lesson objective that says, in this session, you will learn uh, how you will learn to pronounce uh, in order to sound natural when asking questions of choice, right? Questions of choice. And then we are going to learn of them about, uh, learn a little bit more about on the questions of choice videos. So you have to go to the platform and the idea is that you can listen um, carefully, that you can watch, and that you can start practicing, that you can start repeating, right? Um, it, so you have this uh, wonderful uh, support of the platform that you can uh, play and replay and many, many times until you get the right pronunciation of the word. So um, in the 4.9, uh, it says, in this conversation, the use of questions uh, with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measurements. So we started uh, this last night, we introduced this class, but today we are going to conclude it, right? Um, so in the, in the video, in the platform, you have in the 4.10 distance and measurements, right? So in here, you, you will again listen about how long, how far, and so on. Uh, so 4.11, it's uh, about learn to ask and answer questions with how, right? Ask and answer questions with how. So that's what we are going to do tonight. Um, so uh, in the platform, you have another video, which is 4.12, right? Questions with how, right? So you can go and and start practicing. So I'm going to stop sharing this because we have to continue with my presentation and an exercise that I have for you. If you remember, uh, last night we start talking about how far is it, right? Que tan lejos está, que el lugar, verdad? Is it far from here? Está lejos desde acá? Just to make a reference, como para tomar un punto de referencia, verdad? In the possible answers, answers, it is not very far, far. It's only about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and so on. It won't take you very long to get there. So it, this won't, we said last night, that is the equivalent to say, it will not take you very long to get there. It will take you approximately, and if you talk about minutes, you can say 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and so on to get there. So last night we were practicing uh, with this exercise and um, we complete the exercise last night, if you remember. But today I have this uh, final um, slide that I want to discuss with you. And, and basically I want to um, ask you to please uh, do uh, an exercise using them, okay? So the questions are, how far? So what do you think about how far? What, uh, for which purpose do you think we use it? Para qué, para qué creen que utilizamos um, how far? To, this, to measure distance, age, quantity countable, quantity uncountable, frequency or height or length or duration. Is for a distance. Distance. For distance, distance, right? It's distance. correct. So the, it's distance. correct. It's for um, distance, right? 
How tall? How tall? Mm -hmm. What are the descriptions? Uh, descriptions? For height. For yeah, for physical exactly. for mm -hmm. physical descriptions. Yes. Thank you, Rosita. Exactly. When we talk about a person, we use um the question how tall to make reference if the person is height or or tall or short right so for measuring height how many for what purpose do we use how many countable countable yes uh, for quantity countable because you can count them right one two three four five six seven you can count the items Okay, and how much? What about how much? Uncountable. Uncountable. For example, I can ask, Rocio, excuse me, how much coffee do you left in your cup for me? <laughs> <laughs> so it's coffee, it's uh, uncountable, right? Unless I said okay. one cup of coffee. In that, in that case, it becomes uh, countable because I can count the cups of coffee, right? Thank you. Okay, and how often? How often? Uh, for what uh, purpose? Do frequency. We, frequency, right? And remember that uh, when we use uh, how often question, we normally respond or answer with a frequency adverbs. For example, if you say, teacher, how often do you drink coffee? I can say, I always drink coffee in the morning, in the afternoon, <laughs> and sometimes at night. <laughs> so I often, <laughs> right? Um, and you say, uh, always, uh, frequently, I mean, um, normally, sometimes, or you can say never, hardly ever, rarely, okay, seldom. So those are frequency adverbs that help us to answer to the question, how often? How old? Why do you think, uh, I mean, uh, when do you think we use how old? When we ask about? For age. age. For age. Normally I say, uh, excuse me, how old are you? Right? And the person says, I am in the number of years, right? And the question, how long? About the time, teacher. L length. Uh, plus, length duration. plus duration. Plus duration. That's, that's mm -hmm. length plus duration. For example, how long um, it, it will take uh, to wait for my car to be repaired? You can, you can say it will take a month because the problem is very serious. Uh, or you, I can say, how long um, will last your vacation? And you can say, my vacation will last uh, one week, for example. Okay, so uh, in order to conclude this topic, uh, because last night we only practiced with uh, how long and how far, but we didn't practice with how tall, how many, how much, how often, and how old. Those were not uh, too much in the practice. So what I would like to ask you today is that you will go and work in groups. And my request is that you have to write at least one question using each one of those, right? One question using each, okay? It means one question using how far, one question using how tall, one question using how many, one question using how much, one question using how uh, often, how old, and how long, right? So uh, you can divide the questions since you will be like three people. You can have three sentences, each one, and one person can have two, right? And then you do uh, exchange the information to provide a very short answer. For example, how far, uh, last night we practiced, how far is your job from home? And some of you told me, teacher, it's very uh, far, it takes me like, eight hours, for example, my friend Carlos, I, I think that was Carlos who shared that it takes like eight, uh, seven or eight hours by bus, right? Uh, going to to job, to his job. Um, and later there, there was, um, there was, 
I don't remember who uh, that said, no, for me, it's very close. It takes me like half an hour to get there. I can, I can walk to my, to my work. So, um, uh, so that there can be different uh, answers. I don't expect a very long answer, but what I want you to do, what I want you can do is to practice uh, the, the questions in order to formulate a very common question in real life situations. Okay, do you have questions regarding the exercise? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, tell me, Carlos. Teacher? I yes, have a question. Yes, yes, yes please. Go uh, ahead. In how far? Yeah. Uh, when we say how far, uh, we refer are uh, in distance. Yes. But we can we can express in kilometers, uh, miles, or time. For example, uh, my job is uh, two hundred kilometers or five hours. O sea, po, po, podemos expresarlo en tiempo o distancia. Creo que me quedó esa dudita por ahí cuando usted dijo. Eh, ok. Decir, let me, let me go back. Minutos, estoy a una hora. Aquí está. Aquí, eh, aquí hay, hay un ejemplo. Okay. Eh, last night we said that how far is to express distances, right? And eh, we use it and we can use it uh, measuring uh, miles and kilometers, yeah? And we said that sometimes in countries so big like the United States, they normally use miles. And here in El Salvador, we use kilometers. So whenever you ask how far, the answer that you could expect is uh, measuring distance, right? Distance from one place to another. For example, here, the question is how far is it, and remember that the question is how far is it? Vea que aunque estamos utilizando los dos nombres de los lugares, lo voy a decir en español para que quede bien clarito, la pregunta es how far is it from Los Angeles to San Francisco? O usted solo puede decir how far is Los Angeles from San Francisco, right? Eh, so you can expect a, a distance measure. But when you say how long, how long uh, measures time, right? In, in last night, we said that time can be measured in seconds, minutes, uh, hours, uh, weeks, uh, months, and years. So when you're referring to time uh, lasting, you say how long, right? I don't know if it answers your question, my dear. Okay, excellent. And uh, how often we said last night that is uh, to measure the, um, the frequency. And I said today that we can use frequency adverbs to answer to the question how often, right? Okay, so um, having uh, said this, um, I would like to send you, I, I think I already sent you the image. Let me check, double check if I did it. Yes, so basically I will divide you in the breakout rooms to work with this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are seven questions and I would like you to um, elaborate at least one question with each word and that you can provide a very short answer to each question, okay? Uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So I will be there to assist you just in case you have doubts or questions, okay? So I will open the rooms now and you are invited to join.
to is right is right yes, okay right. in my case my my work is uh awesome. far far away <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> sure. peter how do you say uh my work is my work my workplace is located ah. at how, okay. my how many miles rocio Miles, oh my god, no, I don't know. We measure kilometers, <laughs> but it's near oh. to the beach. Kilometers, kilometers, I don't how know, many kilometers? I don't know, but it's, it's near Aprox of the <laughs> no, no sé. what, no, no sé. but it's near uh, the beach on your uh, approximately, approximately, Rocio. <laughs> Because how far is a is a distance? Mm. No sé cómo responderle eso. O sea, cuántos eh, tiene que decirme más o, menos cuántos kilo, más o menos cuántos kilómetros porque how far se utiliza en distancia física okay. kilómetros millas. Let me give you a clue, my dear Rocío. Okay. Let's imagine okay. that in El Salvador normally you you can you have to go in on a in, on a way, um, mm -hmm. like, like a freeway, let's let think in the, in the way, in, in the word freeway, it's no more than 80 kilometers per hour, right? So, okay. I will ask you in the other way, as, as your classmate was saying, how long it takes you to get to your workplace oh, from your okay. home? Okay. ¿Cuánto tiempo le toma llegar de su trabajo? How long it takes you? Uh, to get to your workplace from home? Mm, it took me that it take it takes it takes me uh -huh, it takes it me it takes me it uh -huh. takes me uh, one uh, one hour or oh, one hour okay from my, my house Okay, so let's make the inference that uh, if you drive no more than 80 kilometers uh, uh, per, per hour, so maybe the distance is no more than um, 80, 80 mm -hmm. kilometers. 80. You can say more or less 80 kilometers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my dears, do you have more questions? Uh, even more in, this mo in, this, in this moment, no. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Perfect. Okay, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Rocio. Some... Is uh, about age. So it's similar. My dears, hello. Uh, hello. Just, just want to clarify that the the column of the right is not exactly. It doesn't match exactly, right? Solo les recuerdo que la columna de la derecha no no hace match, verdad? Se recuerdan que ustedes me los estuvieron diciendo. Sí, para que ah. no, se me vayan, no se me vayan a confundir, ¿sí? How sí, far, es how que yo me, me acabo, nos acabamos de conectar, <laughs> teacher, por eso es que no nos... Ay, okay, no, okay, don't worry, I, I will clarify, les ayudo, ¿ok? Eh, ok. How far eh, help us to measure distance, eso sí estaba bien. Pero how okay. tall, how tall no era for distance, how tall is for asking about height. Ah. Height. Okay. Talk right. about the physical description, right? You say uh, my brother is um, tall or my brother is short, so we use uh, to measure height. How many? Remember that how many is for quantity uh, countable. That's okay. Uh, how okay. much is uncountable? Yes. How often is frequency? 
Y aquí es que lo que pasa es que están cruzados. Y how old is for age, right? Ok. Ya. Yeah? How old are you? So I'm asking about your age. And how long is length plus duration? Esos dos están como, eh, como les digo, como cruzados. El age con el height. ¿Sí? Porque la idea okay. era, era okay. Eh, cross them, match them, right? Los teníamos que, okay. que, que vincular, ¿ok? Y solo, okay. solo dos no pegaban, ¿verdad? Que son esos que están cruzados. Yes. Ok. Do you have okay. extra questions? No? No. Excellent. No. So I leave you and, and, and let you work, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in this case, it will be how much? I say for, for the rate. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Adelante. Price, price, we we use how much? Uh, we use how much when we uh, could you repeat the question? Excuse me, I couldn't get the idea. When we want to refer price, price. Pre, yes, pre, you, you say how much is it? You go to the store and if you don't see the price on the product you are going to buy, you say, excuse me, how much is it? Okay. Yes, how much? yes. How, much? how much is it? How much is it? Yes, and you're asking about the price, but also you use how much uh, for re referring to things that are uncountable. Uh, for example, um, the coffee, how, uh, how much coffee um, is left on the, on the coffee maker, right? Okay. Yeah. And then you answer with a countable answer, two cups, one cup, right? But when I ask, I'm asking with an uncountable, how much? Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. You're welcome. Do you have extra questions? No? Question? Okay, see you in a minute, okay? See you. See you, okay. teacher. Shoes. Pairs, creo que se pronuncia. I have okay. seven pairs of shoes. Hello, do you have questions, Pair. my dear? Yes, teacher. Okay. I yeah. have seven pairs. 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 You can say I have five pairs, one pair, uh, uh, two pairs, three pairs, and so on, right? Yeah. It's, not it's not necessary uh, say I have a seven pairs of shoes, or only I have a seven pairs. You can say I have, I have seven, because the other person- I have person, seven. Yes, because the other person said pairs of shoes. So you can ah, okay. just say, I have seven. Or you can say, ah. I have seven pairs of shoes. Okay. You can give like a short answer and a long answer. Okay. Okay. Do you have extra questions? Okay, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. How often is the Hello, do you have questions, my dears? I'm here to help you just in case. 
how old you? How old? How old are you? That's to ask about age, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many questions do you already have? We finished, but... I mean, yeah, but I, that's my question. If you, if you already finished, or if you have questions yeah. pending to formulate. Eh, ¿Ya terminaron de hacer las no. preguntas o todavía les hace falta formular? We finish. Finish. Ok, yeah. excellent. So I'll call you back in a minute, ok? Thank you. Ok. See you in a minute. En este, en este momento... Como mis hijos ocupan la computadora, no mucho tiempo. Hello, my dears. How is it going? Do you finish? Terminamos. Platform. Did you finish? Yes. Excellent. Yes. So I yes, call, sí. you, I call yes. you back in a minute. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. People is coming, so in just a couple of seconds, we are going to be complete in order to start our presentation uh, before the class to share with the plenary what we did with the, with the how questions tonight. Just to advance and close this topic. And then we will finish and continue with the um, platform uh, exercise. Okay, very good. So, who was the practice? Were you able to uh, write seven, at least seven questions and seven answers to these uh, how questions? ¿Pudieron elaborar las siete preguntas? Renee and me, yes. only one. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Would you like to, to share your question? ¿Le gustaría compartir la pregunta de ustedes y luego van retroalimentando con lo del resto de los grupos? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Go ahead. Adelante. Okay. Uh, I don't remember how far. La que estábamos discutiendo. How far is your work? And the, I write the, I write, I... I write the the question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 um, number one is how far is your workplace? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my answer is my workplace is more or less eight kilometers. Okay. okay. Excellent. The question number two is how how tall are you? In my arms were big, big because Rocio asked me, uh -huh. is my height is 1.7 meters. Okay, excellent. You're tall. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, the question number three is... How uh, many? How, how many shoes do you have, Rocio? Mm, I have seven in my answer. Okay, seven pairs. Seven pairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions, how much water do you drink? I drink a lot of water. Okay. okay. How often, uh, Renee asked me, uh, how often do you exercise? Uh, my my answer mm -hmm. is I do exercise twice a week. Okay. And okay. the next question for, for Renee, how old is your dog? 
And the answer of her name, my dog is four years old. Okay. No need that, teacher. No need that. that. Okay, excellent. But you did a great job. You did at least, at least six or seven. So that's good. Thank you very much, Rocio and Rene. Okay, who wants to continue? Next team. Siguiente equipo. Remember that this is your time for practicing your speaking, right? So, let's see. I don't know if Daniel, Daniel team, would you like to? You can share the questions. And if you're three, you can exchange in order to ask and answer all of all of the team members. Hello. Okay, Hello. my teams. Hello. 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 Hello Daniel, Do you hear me? Daniel team. Hello. Where are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay. They are here. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, you decide uh, who start, Daniel, and who are you going to ask the question? Um, okay. Um, for Julio, uh, how, how old are you? Hi. Hi. Uh, we... We was a practice. Um, we were practice um, uh, all the 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 question um, with uh, Julio and Iris. The same, the same uh, uh, question, teacher. Okay, it's okay. You you do the way you can. The way you you feel comfortable. Okay, don't worry. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. How old are you, Julio? I have um, 54 years old. I, I am. I am. I am 54. I am 54 year old. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Next question, or maybe Julio is going to ask uh, to Iris, maybe? The same question. Yes. How old are you? It is. Hola. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, How old are you? I am 31 years old. Okay, thank you. Now you can ask Daniel. Okay. Daniel, how old are you? But I would like that Iris can ask Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Iris, okay. would you like to ask Daniel? In order that all of you Iris, have... Ask me. Okay. Yes, Iris is... Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel, how old are you? I am 34 years old. Okay, excellent. Uh, do you work an extra question or only the same question? Or do you have an extra? Eh, ¿Lo uh, practicar otra pregunta o solo esa? Yes, yes, five or six. Ok, would you like to add uh, a second question? Podemos agregar una segunda pregunta para que hagan la ah, misma okay. ronda. Uh -huh. oh, ok, uh, Julius, um, how often do you study English in the platform? Julio? Um, I study English um, four days the week. Four days per week mm -hmm. in the platform. Okay. Now you in ask. The platform. Yes. Now you ask Iris. Iris, how often you do you? How often do you study English in the platform? I it do, is. Hello. I do two days a the week. Uh, uh, twice, Nothing. twice a week. Twice, twice a week. Uh -huh. Excellent. Twice it is. Week. Now you ask Daniel. Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Uh, how long is do you study English in the platform? 
Um, I have been uh, two, two, two weeks. No, no, three, three weeks. I have been studying for three weeks, right? I have been three study for the week. For I, ha I have been studying for three weeks. I have been study for three weeks. Yes, I have been studying. Uh, next topic we are going to see is the present continuous studying for three weeks. Ajá, he estado sí, estudiando okay. por tres semanas. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. O simplemente lo pude haber resumido eh, eh, for three weeks. ¿Verdad? Para no ponerle toda la, el, el, el verbal tense. Ok. okay excelente. Very good team. Thank you. Ok, let's see. Noria Steen, would you like to continue, my dears? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, my dear. My name is Angel. Mm -hmm. Angel, and? Um, I don't remember. Okay, my Eric, dear. Eric Acosta. Eric, Eric and, I, and Angel. So who would like to start? And teacher, we, um, we do the, the question, but but can no. that we can practice the responses or the answer. Okay, <laughs> but, you, uh, but, when, but whenever we, you feel comfortable, como se sientan cómodos, maybe okay. only one or two. Or you can start asking a question and then uh, you answer just one, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can start. Okay, uh, Noria. Okay. Uh, how far is how far is it from your house to your job? Okay. How far is it from uh, your house to your job? From my from my house to my job is five kilometers. Okay. Five kilometers. Thank you. Now it's your turn to ask, Noria. What would you like to ask to, uh, I don't know if it's Angel or Eric. Devuélvale no. la pregunta. Eric. Devuélvale okay. una pregunta, nada más. How often do you go to the beach? For who? <laughs> uh, for you, for you. Because she's oh, okay. she asking back. Le está devolviendo la pregunta. Ah, ok. Ok, about... Twice a year. Okay, About twice a year. Twice a year. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now you can ask another question to your classmate and your classmate answers, right? Okay. To Eric. Yeah. In this case, to Eric. Eric? Okay, or Noria. Oh, Noria, you, you can ask to okay. Eric, please. Yes. Okay. Um, how much uh, how much how much traffic is there in San Salvador? Okay. Mm, there is much traffic in San Salvador. Okay. Would you like to ask a question to Nadia? Yes. Um how long does it take to watch your favorite series? Um, my favorite series. Uh, you can you can answer with a, with a, with time one hour two hours per week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe. It's a uh, very easy. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, team. You did a practice uh, using the how questions. Okay, who else? Let's see what team is missing. Uh, Ingrid, Ingrid team. Hello. Hello, my dear. Who was your team? Uh, 
Carlos Carlitos. and Emperatriz. Okay, Carlitos and Emperatriz. You can start the way the way you feel comfortable, the way you practice. Como ustedes se sientan cómodos, ¿verdad? Como practicaron en el grupo. In my case, I don't remember the question. Okay, do you, do you prefer that someone else ask? Okay, uh, someone else of the team can start and ask uh, to Ingrid. Alguien más puede comenzar del grupo y le hace una pregunta a Ingrid, ¿sí? Para que ella responda. Okay, teacher. Uh, I began with her uh, in the first question. How, uh -huh. how far from uh, San Salvador to Cabañas? How far is... Um, uh, is it from San Salvador to Cabañas, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I answered it to Imperatriz and she answered me mm -hmm. uh, 10 hundreds, about 10 hundred kilometers. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. And then uh, Ingrid asks, asked me uh, uh, how tall, how tall are you? Mm -hmm. uh, her, I am uh, okay. one meter eighty eighty centimeters. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, so, would you like to ask an extra question to? So maybe to Emperatriz or Emperatriz, would you like to ask an extra, que an extra question? If I want to, to ask, did you? Yes. yes, if you would like to. Uh, okay. Um, but if you for remember. example, mm -hmm. aha. Uh -huh. How often do you watch TV, uh, Ingrid or Carlos? Anyone? Who, who wants to ask? Okay. To answer. I I I always watch TV. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. My dear, uh, let's see. So now, would you like to continue and finish asking an extra question, uh, Ingrid? Maybe to Emperatriz or to Carlos? Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, maybe say, is how many people are there in your work? Emperatriz? Uh, I work with, uh, I work with, Maybe 10 persons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There are 10 people uh, in the office, right? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, my dear. Thank you very much. I think that nobody uh, is missing. Uh, creo que nadie se me quedó de la práctica. Si hay alguien, por favor, me disculpan, porque entendería yo que ya estamos todos los grupos. Okay, my dear, thank you very much. Uh, remember that you have been working with how far, how tall, how many, how much, how often, how old, how long. Remember that we use how long to ask or to talk about length and duration, how old to talk about age or to ask about age, how often to ask about frequency, how much to ask about quantity when there's an uncountable noun. How many to ask about quantity, but when there is a countable, you can count one, two, three, four, five, and so on per unit. You use how tall to ask about height, and we use how far to talk about or to ask about distance, okay? So uh, we are going to finish this topic here, and I'm going to stop sharing because I would like to go to the platform, and I would like to go back in order to uh, see, to watch the exercise uh, we have pending to solve before the class ends. And after the questions with how, after the 4.12 video, you will have this knowledge check. Uh, can you watch my new screen? Can you watch the platform? Yes? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. It says yes. write the questions to these answers. Remember to use how, right? So, uh, how high is Angel's Falls? Uh, Angel Falls uh, uh, is 979 meters, which is equivalent to 3,000, uh, um, in this case, 212 feet high, right? High. Uh, number two, uh, how big is California, right? So we're talking about California. So California is about 403 a thousand and nine hundred and seventy square kilometers equivalent to one hundred fifty five thousand nine hundred and seventy three square miles uh how long is the nile right the nile is six thousand seven hundred and seventy kilometers equivalent to four thousand uh, 145 miles long, right? Long. Um, so, uh, next question is, how hot is Washington, D.C. in summer? Washington, D.C. gets up about 30, um, 32 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 90 uh, Fahrenheit in the summer. So, look, here they say how high, how big, how long, how hot. So in this case, they are, they are using how plus uh, high, right? Uh, how plus big, in this case, uh, they are adjective, right? High, big, long, right? Hot, they are adjectives also. And um, let's see, uh, when we talk about the other thing that I want to, uh, Pay attention that you to pay attention in this is that we use uh, in order to talk about temperature we can say uh, the place and then gets up gets up es como uh, llega hasta gets up to about llega hasta casi verdad okay um, so and that's it uh, it's uh, the only knowledge check we have pending and then for tomorrow. We are going to start with the section five. So we are going to advance a little bit in order that we can have enough time to complete the final exam by coming um, Thursday. Not tomorrow, but next week. Okay, I would like to know if you have questions so far. Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. And I yes, would like to, yes, please go ahead. Adelante. Uh, with the before exercise, mm -hmm. I didn't understand uh, with the question how old, are, how old? because in in parentheses mm -hmm. uh, say hate. Uh, ah. I am confused about her. Yes, I'm sorry because of that. The idea was that there was uh, you had to cross. La idea original era que ustedes tenían que cruzar eh, y ver cuáles correspondían. All of them, let me stop this and I will go back to the presentation. Um, all of them match, but only two were different. Todos hacían match, pero solo dos eran diferentes. ¿Sí? Mm. Porque decía relate, la instrucción, excuse me, déjenme ver acá. Decía relate each column. ¿verdad? La idea era que usted hiciera como los, las flechitas, ¿verdad? Y los, y los uniera. Creo que... Relacionarla. Los relacionara. Relate. Exactamente. Relate. Entonces, eso fue lo que nos hizo falta. Porque lo hicimos, pero lo hicimos verbalmente. We didn't use arrows. Mm. No utilizamos flechitas. Ajá. Eso fue lo que pasó. Entonces, él le decía yo a los demás grupos que los únicos que estaban como... Como cascarita, por decirlo así, that, that were uh, mistaken or were uh, wrong, era age, que corresponde con how old, y height, que corresponde con how tall, right? Uh -huh. So that's why you get okay. confused. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because we did the relation, but we did it uh, speaking only. We didn't use the arrows. 
eh, quizá hubiera que poner las, flecha, las flechas. Si hubiéramos puesto las flechas, eh, hubiera quedado más claro. Eh, so, don't worry, miss. Ok, no, I apologize if it caused confusion, ok? So, uh, do you have extra questions? ¿Tenemos eh, preguntas adicionales sobre este tema? Eh, vean que, eh, déjenme nada más responderle a alguien que me dice que se le fue la señal. Ok, if you see here, I have taught you um, how to use uh, and how to give answers, right? Um, in very, this is in very normal uh, conversations, very familiar, very uh, simple. En los ejemplos que yo les di son um, bien simples, ¿verdad? De cómo utilizar how far, how long, um, and, and with very normal conversations, con conversaciones bien, bien sencillas, ¿verdad? Uh, but in a platform, uh, you have very, uh, like, academic. The example of the platform is academic. El ejemplo de la plataforma es bien académico, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se preocupen porque no puedan eh, como pronunciar, ¿verdad? Eh, todas las, las, los cálculos que aquí aparecen. But this is a challenge for you. Es un reto para ustedes, ¿verdad? Que recuerden how to say the numbers in the case. In addition to... Uh, how to answer to how questions that you practice how to say the numbers, right? Aunque no se está evaluando el contenido, el contenido no está evaluando el decir los números, ¿verdad? Lo voy a decir en español, sino que solo cómo contestar al how high, how big, how long, and how hot. Eh, sería bueno que aprovechando lo académico que es el ejercicio, podamos repasar cómo decir los números, ¿sí? Pero eso es extra, ¿verdad? Eso solo es como... Una, un, un reto nada más, ¿verdad? It's eh, okay, teacher. Yeah, okay, excellent. So, uh, the answers are there. Las respuestas están ahí. Those are the answers for you to don't get confused because I know that when you see numbers, it's like very difficult. Even me, sometimes uh, it's a little bit confusing to say big numbers. Okay, uh, do you have questions so far about this? Tenemos más preguntas uh, because we will close today uh, this topic. Remember that es qué tan, ¿verdad? En español, eh, how, qué tan alto, how far, eh, qué tan lejos, how far. Eh, el, básicamente en español es el equivalente a qué tan, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, for distance and in, in, in this case time also. Ok, if you don't have extra questions, I'm going to stop sharing this and I hope to see you tomorrow in order to start the section number five, right? In the section number five, as you see, we are going to practice a lot the present continuous tense. Uh, tomorrow we are going to work on the differences between the simple present and the present continuous. So I hope that you can be safe and I hope to see you tomorrow here, okay? If you have questions, please don't, double to con don't doubt to contact me at the WhatsApp group or individually by WhatsApp, okay? Okay, my dears. Thank you, teacher. Uh, hope to see you Good tomorrow. Night. Okay. Be safe. Thank Good you, night. Bye-bye. Thank you, miss. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.